an extra sorceress. And an extra many faces. So, and again, these are uh, somebody already bought these from me. So, all right. So we have the figures inside. Now there are four boxes in here. So, and I don't want to just rip them out. So I need to figure out a conventional way of doing this. We're not destroying anything. Oh, hey, there we go. This one's eager to, leave, to come out. Uh, and it is Merman. So, all right, we will review the Merman box first. Again, I'll be reviewing the box, but not the actual action figure inside. So, Merman comes in this mailer box. Standard. Um, now, I, again... This figure isn't mine. I'd feel bad opening it up. Sorry. Bad one. Okay. We'll do my figures. Okay. Tongue Lasher. Um, I was interested in Tongue Lasher for the simple fact uh, that I'm a big Horde guy. Um, I planned on ordering two of every Horde member. Um, but I decided to keep it to pretty much just the main horde members. Uh, Tongue Lashor wasn't really a main. He was only showed up a couple times in the series. So I'll be opening this guy up happily. So there's a tab up here. Just kind of like that. Ta da. Ta da. La da. And. He doesn't want to come out. He doesn't want to come out and play. I don't know why. There we go. Okay. So we have the standard Masters of the Universe okay, uh, slipcover. And push this back some. There we go. And this will just slide right off to reveal the figure inside. How cool is that? Um, I'm going to see. I want to see. Oh, wow. He looks awesome. Now, I am curious about the head swapping. Because as we all know, the head swapping has been issues with these figures. So, we got a nice artwork on the back here. With a bio. And said bio reads, uh, Tongue Lashore is the very definition of an underling. He is hunched under the presence of whomever this master may be. This snake man often uses his tongue to carry out simple tasks, much to the disgust of his allies. After having witnessed Modulok defect, Tongue Lashore and his fellow crony Ratlor left the service of Skeletor and allied themselves with the evil Horde. Hordak enjoys having Tongue Lashor around as the foul creature displays a psycho, a sycophantic yeah, psycho eagerness to please his master. Yeah. Big words. <laughs> so, pretty cool. Very happy. So far, we're going to open this sucker up and find out if I remain happy. I'm very... Um, I'm very scared here because I know I'm going to have to swap his head because I know the head I'm going to want is the tongue version on the body because otherwise he just doesn't look right. Let's take that out. So now they mentioned they mentioned um, Modulok and Ratlord defecting. I wonder if we're going to get those figures somewhere in the line. Mmm. The plot thickens. Let's find out. All right. Let's go ahead and open the sucker up. Very carefully. Yeah. There's more tape. There we go. Okay. Because who knows? I may want to put him back in. This is a very cool box. 
All right, so out of the box, of course, we have the nice artwork here in the <laughs> box. But you can't. There we go. So pretty cool. So, um, and for those who are watching, if you wish to, uh, to talk, you may do so. The chat is open. So we're just going to stay. All right. So um, we're just going to remove everything out of here first and then go over everything. Curious how that's going to work. Now, it is doubt that Mom, he does have twisty tie. I hate twisty tie. Let's see if I can take twisty tie off. Easy. Bingo. And we have these attached to the legs as well. Okay. Should be able to get him out. But I have too much of a problem now. Alright. Gotta hope I just didn't jinx myself. <laughs> Alright. Get an arm free. Get an arm free. There we go. And twist. There we go. I don't know if I'll be putting him back in. <laughs> All right, so we have Tongue Lashore out. Oh, man. Right out of the box, I'm already seeing issues. Okay, so we have right here, looks like, crack down his shoulder. A little bit on the side here. Uh, yeah, if I move his head, it's going to break. I'm pissed. Already I'm pissed. Yeah, it goes all the way up to his, his neck. And you can see I barely move, and you can see it moving. 30, $30, $35. <coughs> now I'm afraid to swap his neck if I can. Well, the good news is his head does pop off rather easily. So, his other head's not wanting to go on very easily, though. There we go. All right. So, Um, his head is on a ball joint. It does kind of barely looks up. Doesn't really look down very well. Uh, not really side to side. And this is this is bad. This is this is very bad. All right. Let's check out the. Shoulders, they go out, forward, backwards. Um, looks like we got swivels at the biceps. We've got the elbow joints, which are actually pretty tight. Ratchet jointed even, so that's a plus. 
swivel at the wrist, bend at the wrist. We have torso crunch, swivel at the waist, uh, legs can go out. And I look at the crotch because my my Hordak had a, um, a crack in the crotch. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, legs move forward, backwards. Uh, hmm. Very little. Huh. Very little. Yeah. Knee bends. Swivel here at the, yeah. Swivel for here. Down the rocker as well. So... I'm disappointed in this one. This one, I I feel like he's going to break. I'm not going to lie. I do feel like he's going to break. Especially if I mess with his head too much. Uh, looking at the paint job. Yeah. Paint's all right. Paint apps are okay. Oh, I do have a little blue on his shoulder here. I don't know if I can make that out on camera or not. There you go. Yeah. All right. Well, he does have accessories. Comes with the extra head, which I did show does work. Um, but, I mean, it's very... That's his head. That's this head, too. So these are very hard plastic heads. Um, he does come with this little rocket pack, and there is a peg on his back is where I'm assuming this gets plugged in at. So we'll just plug that in like so. It does work. And he does have a pistol, uh, which fits in this hand. Okay. And let's see if it fits in this hand. Definitely meant for his right hand. More for his right hand than his other hand. So there we go. All right. Well, there's Tongue Lash or Kind of disappointing. <laughs> I was actually really looking forward to him, too. Just because, again, I'm a big fan of the, of the Horde. Um... But, I mean, you can see the plain apps are the, what we expect with the filmation. Uh, no high details or anything like that. Um, looks like there might be a little bit of wash on the legs. So, I mean, all that's fine. What worries me the most is this cracked area in here in the neck and the shoulders. That worries me to no end. So. We'll see how it goes. So we'll put Tongue Lasher over here. Um, fold the box back up for now. Tells me there's not going to be a huge call for this figure anyway. So, ah. it does want to put the box back in the box. Eh? There we go. Box doesn't want to go back in the box. There we go. Okay, kind of got to put the uh, slip cover in a little bit first. So that was tongue lasher.
<clears throat> the Sorceress. This figure people have seemed to have a lot of issues with. Um, not so much with um, her, her having like plastic issues or anything like that. Just, she's apparently the shortest figure in the line as far as females go, which definitely shouldn't be. But we'll see. Let's find out. <coughs> okay. All right. The Sorceress. Sam slip cover. Comes right off. I'm happy to see that it is, in fact, the figure inside. <laughs> uh, we have nice little artwork and a bio. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. So, we have a little bio here, and the bio says, The threat of evil of Eternia saw a young woman named Tila Na transform into the sorceress, the guardian of Castle Grayskull. As was foretold, the sorceress endured much sadness in her life. Her husband was killed defending Eternia, and she subsequently, sub, sub, Lord, subsequently had to surrender her daughter, Tila, to keep her from danger. She longs for the day when she can reveal her true identity to Tila. Until then, the guardian of Castle Grayskull watches over Eternia, poised to summon He-Man in times of need. So, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and uh, get her out of the box. Looks like she's going to have a twisty tie as well around the waist. <coughs> we'll get all her accessories out. I'm really liking that fact that she comes with a Zor. I cannot get her extra head out. <laughs> there we go. So I'm definitely, again, curious as to how this head thing is going to work. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Important. That's important. These are important. These are very important pieces. There we go. That almost went badly. All right. Okay. So now we gotta get her out of the package. She's now out of the package. All right. Um, from a figure standpoint, I, don't know, I, I think she looks all right. Um, I would have preferred the face sculpt that we were shown originally. Um, I understand originally that was prototype, but, you know. Um... There we go. Okay. Joints seem very tight, by the way. All right. Uh, so here's our sorceress. Not too bad. I'm actually not too, too, uh, uh, too bad with it. So this looks odd. So legs seem a little bobbly. Come on, Super 7. Really? We're paying a lot of money for these figures. And these are some good figures. I 
All right. Let's go ahead articulation wise. We have a head. Turns all the way around. It does seem like it's on a ball joint. Um, looks like the arms can go for outward, forwards, backwards. Uh, no waist articulation, but we do have it in her torso, chest area. Her legs do move out, back. You see it's very soft loincloth. Legs move out. Bends at the knees, ratchet, ankles, check, and whoa, hold on. Do we not have boot swivel? Hmm, I'm afraid this thing's gonna break. Oh, there we go. Okay. This one does not want to swivel very well. So one does swivel, for sure. No problem. The other one doesn't really want to. Uh, we also have elbow. Not ratchet. Uh, we have wrists that uh, move and twist. So that's all good. Uh, so yeah. And we do have pig holes in her arms for her accessory wings. Uh, wow, I do not. Wow, her. I am definitely having issues with her standing. <laughs> wow. Anyway, so. Uh, the pegs, yes. Uh, we have accessories. Uh, we have two sets of wings. Um, very rubber-like. Hard rubber, but rubber. Yeah. One closed. And then we have one open. And again... Rubbery. So, uh, right now her closed. So let's go ahead and oh, she actually has a peg under the head as well. So I guess that's kind of important. So this has to go up here, like so. So she can actually have it just just there, just there. Or if you want. To connect her arms, you may do so with the pegs. So there we are. So you can just, you know, do that. Or you can just not have them pegged. And she has her arms like that. But it's on there, so it does kind of swivel around a bit. Or if you can get in there tight enough, shouldn't have that problem. Of course, it's a Super 7, so it was a frack nose. So that just comes right off, and then you can put this one on where her arms are out. And again, top peg just goes right under her head. Looks like. Maybe. I don't know. Doesn't want to go in. <laughs> It really doesn't want to go in. Uh, this. Wow. It really doesn't want to go in. Okay. And then it just clips to her arms. Like so. I said like so. There we go. And I won't lie, that actually doesn't look too bad. That looks kind of cool. <laughs> this will probably be how I display her on my um, Castle Grey School. So. 
And again, this leg does not want to stay straight. It's a very loose leg. So those are some of the accessories. Then we have Zor. Oh, wow. Zor is very plastic, solid plastic. Uh, no articulation. Uh, no. So uh, it also comes with a stand. And the stand has two pegs and two holes. So... <laughs> very scared to do this. Um, I'm not going to lie. These figures uh, this time around do not feel solid, folks. Uh, these do not want <laughs> to peg in very well. I'm having issues getting this pegged. I don't believe this. Uh, I think once he's pegged, I am going to leave him pegged. I'm really afraid I'm going to break this thing. <sighs> I don't know if it's supposed to be in a certain way. Whoa. It's like the pegs are too big for the holes in the feet. Honestly. That's the way it seems. Okay, I got one peg in. <laughs> and I got one peg out. The peg came out. Okay. We are not having luck with this with these pegs, I'm telling you. I got one foot in. <laughs> I have one foot attached. Oh, he's no longer attached. Falcon down. Falcon down. And this actually I would love to have him displayed. Properly. Uh, all right. Wait. Hey, we got him. He's never coming off this damn thing ever again. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. So there we go. With much effort, Zor perched on his perch. Sulking. He does. He looks like he's sulking. Um, yeah. <laughs> but it stands good. <coughs> I'm a guy. So we have an extra head. Um, uh, previous sorceress. I'm afraid. I am deathly, deathly afraid. Of doing this. Oh. That popped right off. All right. All right. I don't know. Seems a little softer. So. Ow. Oh, it popped right off. All right. So it looks all right. So. I have to think I prefer the other head better, though. Which again just pops right off. Again, that peg just I don't know. These these figures this time around. There we go. So I just prefer that one. So very cool. Um it again, issues mostly with that leg. Um and yes, it's gonna be made obvious. Not as bad as Tila, but her butt cheeks are hanging out. And this is what looks weird. That's just 
looks weird. It's not like, I don't know. They could have put something here, I guess. I don't know. It just looks weird. So there is Tila. And she doesn't have a bobble head, but she has a bobble leg. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put her aside. One more figure. This is the one. If there are major issues with this figure, I'm going to be very, very upset. Because this is the one I've been looking forward to out of this, out of this wave the most. Um, let me put her, uh, put her stuff back here. Uh, I missed many faces uh, during the classics run. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I was a little upset I didn't get a Manny Faces. Uh, he was always been one of my favorite figures in the line. So I figured this was the only way I was going to get him relatively cheap, I guess, without spending scalper prices. And again, I'm having issues closing the mailer box, which I can do later. No big deal. <clears throat> so, when they announced that Many Faces was going to be part of this wave, I had to jump on it. I did jump on it. And here we go. I've really been curious on how they come out. I want to meet you. I'm trying not to destroy the mailer box. I'm really, really not. Okay. All right. All right. And he comes with a lot of accessories. So this is cool. He looks awesome. Um, go ahead and get this start started. <laughs> okay. So here he is out of the box, or in the box. He looks really cool. I'm loving this figure. <laughs> so far. Uh, we've already saw what the other two figures are like. Like a devil horn going on here. Uh, when we have a bio with some awesome artwork on the back. So I shall read the bio. Attempt to, because the last couple times haven't worked out so well. <clears throat> the man who would come to be known as Manny Faces wandered the land of Eternia, taking advantage of those smaller than himself by using his face-changing ability to dominate them. Kinky. After an encounter with Skeletor, however, he realized his own inner potential for good. Given the moniker Manny Faces by Orko, the once troubled individual went on to become Eternia's greatest actor. Manny Faces uses his unique face changing ability to impersonate anyone, allowing him to infiltrate the evil warriors in disguise. So. This is the one I'm really nervous about. I have no idea how to change his faces. Nothing. <laughs> so, come on this journey with me, won't you? All right. Um, we have we another hidden weapon here and sword, which just fell right over. Uh, now, I have recently saw, as of today, that with this particular weapon, there have been issues with it. And I'll go, we'll check it out here in a little bit. So I'm really curious to see if I have the same issues. So right now I'm just going to take everything out. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Oh, I love this. I can't wait to show you guys. This gun. Mm. Oh, 
weapons. I love his weapons. I'm loving his weapons. Ah! Um. Why do you do these? There we go. And of course, we've got twisty ties and rubber tie thingies. All right. So I don't see extra faces in here. So I'm assuming he's going to have a knob or something to turn, similar to how you would work him. Um, the vintage figure. So let's try to come out. No knob. Oh no. Nah. Right. Yeah, well, it might not be so bad. All right. So, all right. Um, so out of the package so far, he looks all right. Um, I'm very curious where so the faces are. Oh, oh, okay. Interesting. That's odd. So there's no actual knob. You have to do it by hand. Huh. Okay. So here we go. Um, all right. So here's our many faces. I'll get in all his features and everything in a moment. Let's go ahead and go over how he looks. He looks pretty damn good. Um, yeah. I'm kind of pleased with this one so far. With the exception of we'll get to the articulation right now. So obviously no head movement because of the helmet. We have... Arms that go out. Yes. Awesome. Kind of. <laughs> there we go. Yes. They go out. Uh, they go down. Move forward. Backward. Let's do all of them in case one of them falls off or something. We can take it on camera. Uh, we have twist at the bicep. Uh, it looks like we do have... Tight elbow joints, which seem to be the uh, norm for these figures so far. We have the twist at the wrist, and there we go. Well, not too bad. Are the one too? Now, this is what I had issues with when I opened him up. His waist is really like that. Um. I'm assuming because he's top heavy. I don't know. But I mean, you do get the waist crunch. He, whoops, hold on. Is he, does he turn? He does turn. There we go. He twists. His waist twists. Got a little stuck. Uh, his legs do go out. They go forwards. They go backwards. They bend at the knee. They do bend at the knee. Ha ha. But it is worth noting that there is no calf crunch, no calf twist. Uh, looks like we do have the rocker angles, though. So, very cool. <coughs> now, as feature, you'll notice on top there's no knob. There's no knob on the back. Now, it would have been nice to have some instructions to tell you how this feature works. I just had to figure it out right here live on camera. 
you have to turn the face with your hand. This is robot mode, which looks pretty cool. Keep turning, and I'll get his monster mode. And then we spin back and we get Manny. So this is both cool and not cool. First off, I love how deep his head goes in. I actually really like that. Um, the classics actually ended up coming with an alternate head, uh, three heads that you can swap out. You're not going to be able to do that with this guy. I can tell you that right now. Um, yeah, because this does not come off. So <clears throat> now he comes with a slew of accessories. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over the one accessory I was worried about. And, yeah, I have that. So this accessory, let's see if you can figure out what exactly is wrong with this accessory. Give up. The blades are not going in the same order. <laughs> this was pointed out on Facebook. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Or not. These are all weapons that appeared in the Filmation cartoon. I'll have to look them up and take a look myself. But it's cool. This spins. This does spin. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. Um, he has a little itty bitty pistol. He has a. Um, whoa. That's cool. He has a giant rifle of some kind with. And this is uh, looks like a separate piece. It's a blade. So these are all kind of sturdy plastic. So that's kind of neat. Have this weird lance. The hook. And my favorite, which harkens back to his vintage figure, his orange gun. Which is the one I'll probably end up being he'll end up being displayed with. I'm not gonna lie. So let's see how well he can hold all of these. So I'm going to check out the gun first, because that is my favorite. And it looks like these may all end up fitting fairly well. Um, yeah. So here we go. Fits pretty well. Uh, if you wish, he could probably do well. Let's see how this one fits. Right. Oh, yeah, right in there. So he can... He can freaking do a wheel. Yeehaw. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like that. So uh, this is going to interest me because it looks like he can either hold it this way or he can hold it this way. I'm not really supposed to sure what way he's supposed to hold it. I'm assuming he can hold it either way. Uh, I'm really curious to see how well he holds on to this because this is not going to clip in easily. Because these are the very hard uh, plastic hands, and they're not bending very well. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it actually fits really well in his left hand. So. And, uh, don't know if it'll... Kind of. Yeah, it'll fit in his other hand. So, uh, then we have this lance, uh, which I'm assuming will also fit probably best in his left hand. Yeah. And again, probably will fit in his other hand. Yeah, that fits. And then finally we have... The pinwheel weapon. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, many faces, I think, is definitely the figure, the best figure in this line. <clears throat> Again, I hadn't get a chance to review Merman. I apologize. Uh, so I don't know about him. I'm, I'm hoping I'll, uh, I'll be a I'll have permission to do so later on. Uh, let's see how well he stands. I mean, ooh, his ankles move, so I mean, I should be able to get some decent. Oh, yeah, he stands pretty well. His torso's not really wanting to rock up 
on its own. So, I mean, really tight joints. All right. Wow. So, yeah, best figure uh, out of the three by far. Um, my only issue is the um, ab crunch, but I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was, actually. And so, yeah, I kind of dig how they did the transformation. Let me set these up, and I'll move the camera down. Actually, I'll go ahead and move the camera down. You can get a better look at these guys. Um, go ahead and get the sorceress all set up here again for you. We can get some size comparisons with all these guys, too, while they're out. Now, again, I want to notate that I have been having issues getting her wings plugged in her back. Uh, so maybe that's just something I need to work into. Uh, I haven't had any problems with the wrists, though, so that's, that's a good thing. Finding the hold, however, there we go. All right, again, there was that. And again, I'm going to have issues standing her. I really am. Her joints are pretty loose. I'm not really happy with her. Let's uh, scoot, scoot, scoot. And of course, then we have oh the biggest disappointment right here, just because the uh, the the mold and everything. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> so I'll try to get over to the frame. There we go. All right, so my final judgment on these guys. Um, I I can't. I, you know I. I really want to love these figures. Uh, I really want to support Super 7 in the worst way, because I really want this line to continue, uh, especially to add to my Horde collection. Um, see, with I only got Hordak for the first wave, and I had issues with the crotch, where I'm afraid one day he's just going to fall apart. <clears throat> uh, of course, everybody else had issues with Triclops and his visor not wanting to move. Um, here we have uh, possible cracks in the mold on um, Tongue Lashore. We have loose joints on her. I don't really have too many complaints about this guy, actually. I like this guy. Um, yeah. So I have a the crotch piece. So, yeah, I don't really have too many issues with him. Uh, and again, I don't know about Merman. So, uh, I don't know. I mean, they still they still look good. They look fantastic. Uh, they really do. Um, I'm really both looking forward to and afraid of the third wave, which has been confirmed to be Mantena, Fisto, um, Grizzlor and I believe Shiro, all filmation style, of course. <coughs> uh, yeah, so get some water here. Uh, all right, we, we can open up for discussion <laughs> if you want. I know there's at least one person watching. So, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go over uh, everything. Let me get the um, boxes here put up. And who knows? Maybe these are just my figures. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and start with um, Tongue Lash over here. So, 
Love the course. I love the presentation. I love the way the box looks, uh, of course. Um, I, the box has been never been an issue with me. The packaging with these, even with the, when Maddie had had them, was, it was always a great box. Um, I've never had issues with the packaging, the mailer, or nothing. Um, so the overall presentation, I mean, they do a great job. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, with tongue last year, I don't know. I just, whoops. Let's go ahead and move these guys out of the way. I actually knocked him over. He didn't just fall over. Sorceress might just fall over, though. Um, I really do feel like he's going to break on me. Uh, Uh, the tongue, the nice little pliable there. Uh, I don't know. Let's, yeah. I, I mean, the head doesn't turn as easy as I feel it should. I almost feel like maybe the, I don't want to have a chance looking. I almost feel like the ball joint itself is twisting with the head. I mean, I'm sure it's not the case, but I mean, look at that. And usually they like to look up and down. When I go down, his head pops back up. <laughs> So, uh, the torso, I mean, I've got all the other, whoop, that's supposed to come off. Uh, the torso is fine. I mean, the joints are fine. Everything else on this guy is fine. Um, I don't know what the, what the pack pack is for. <laughs> uh, maybe he can fly in the cartoon. I don't remember him flying now. So, yeah, he, uh, my another issue is he seems to always be looking up. Always looking up. You can't make him look down. Unless maybe you do. Well, I guess he is supposed to be hunched over. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you hunch him over, he looks. He looks cool. I guess he he is supposed to kind of be hunched over. So I mean, all right. I get it. Still would be nice to have that option. Uh, but, I mean, other than the crack in the neck, uh, I mean, I, I, I like the guy. He's cool. Um, I guess there's a little bit of paint smudge. Uh, the joints are nice and tight. I mean, I love the ratchet joints. He stands really well. So, I mean, he's going to fit really, really nice looking with my Hordak and the other Horde when they show up. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I have more complaints with him or the sorceress here. Uh, my biggest complaint with her, of course, is the damn bobble leg. Uh, even the ankles aren't incredibly loose, but I mean, you could see, you know, she doesn't. And you can see that uh, she doesn't stand very well. I mean, you can open. Uh, and of course, I had issues. If you were watching when I was trying to put Zor here on the stand, the stand has two pegs. He has two holes in his feet. And it looked like the pegs were just too damn big for his pegs. And I was really, really uh, pretty much forcing him <laughs> on there. And I did get him on there. Uh, he is a solid plastic. So, I mean, there's no articulation or anything like that. The wings don't fold out. There's no alternate wings. Uh, the stand is, well, it's the stand. Uh, it would have been nice to be as big as the other stands were. So he can probably sit up there with the other other birds, the other Zor, the classics version of Zor, and Screech, if you wanted to. And the paint job on him is okay. Um, I think they could have gone with a better sculpt. He just looks like he's sulking. Looks angry. And then we have the sorceress. I mean, I mean, the accessory she comes with is pretty cool. Um, and but okay, so here's the here's the thing. I'm actually really happy about about these figures. I'll, I'll say this. They improved the head swap. 
they did improve the head swap. The heads do actually come off fairly easy. Um, with the exception of um, Tongue Lasher, who I actually felt I was going to break. Uh, again, mostly because of that separation in his neck and shoulder. Um, but Tila's head popped right off. No problem. Okay, when I'm, you heard a little snap. The good snap, the good kind of pop when you want to put the head on. Um, so, I mean... <coughs> uh, people were going, uh, complaining about the uh, head sculpt, the face sculpt. Um, I like it. I would have preferred to have the sculpt that we were shown. I think it looked more like the filmation version than the one we got. But it doesn't, it by no means looks bad. I mean, it doesn't look Tila bad. You know, where one eye's over here and the other down here, and her lips are like, boom, boom, boom. I mean, she looks like Toxie from the Toxic Avenger. Um, so it's not Tila bad uh, by any means. And I actually think it looks a really nice paint, uh, paint, paint job, nice sculpt on the face. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm, I'm happy with, I'm not happy, I'm happy with it. Uh, it could be happier, but I'm happy with it. Uh, and again, you can see I'm having issues standing her up. Her ankles are okay, a lot looser than I thought they were. So I'm having issues with her. So, But I mean, appearance-wise, she's not a bad-looking figure. And I do like the fact that you can swap out her feathers. Um, unlike the classics, where they were, they were stuck in one position, and you couldn't put her on the chair. Where you could, uh, just it looked, it looked really awkward. So it uh, it just didn't look right. So, but you do kind of have to pose her um, with her legs apart, and she's gonna f totally fall over. <laughs> that guy Xor's holding her up. Ah, oh, man. There we go. So, yeah, some disappointments. And there, and there she goes. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to get a stand for her. So, But I don't know. My favorite out of this line, this guy right here. Many faces. I freaking love this figure. This is an awesome figure. All around. I actually enjoy the fact that there's no odd knob. You know, I'm, I'm glad there's no piece back here that just doesn't make sense to turn his head. Um, it would have been nice to maybe conceal it uh, here, maybe. Um, but, you know, it's fine. I mean, you, you turn, turn the face. Rawr. Turn the turn the face. I said turn. Turn the face. There we go. Still new. <laughs> beep beep bloop bloop beep. Uh, and then back again. Yeah, there we go. Um, the joints are tight. This is my only issue. I hope that this doesn't get worse over time. But for the most part, I mean, I don't think it's going to really matter. I don't think it's going to hinder anything. Uh, I love the slew of weapons he comes with, all straight out of the Filmation cartoon. This cracks me up. The fact that the blades are just <laughs> all in different spots. I mean, I don't know if this... I, I'm honestly... I don't know if... Is this a... Uh, does almost look like it might have been a separate piece. So I think there was an issue with the molding. Somebody just wasn't paying attention. Uh, and I think they're all like this because I've been seeing this on Facebook. So yeah, that's. Um, and, and I wish I knew where all these weapons. And, and I think it's online where all these weapons uh, are actually uh, from. Let me see if I can find. That post actually, because there was a post where somebody uh, posted where these weapons came from. Uh, if you'll just bear with me for a moment, 
I will look this up. Um, I'll never understand people's obsession with sexy Skeletor. Uh, <laughs> Uh, let's see here. See ya. Give me a moment. Yeah, bear with me here. Okay, so we're not. <coughs> Give me a minute. I swear I'm going to be right here. So that is not where I thought it was at. Uh, yeah. So... Okay. Never mind. I'll have to find it some other time. Uh, but no, I absolutely love this fade. This one. This one's my favorite out of the new wave. Um, I can't wait to put Fisto next to this guy when he comes out next year, probably. So I think this is going to be really cool. Um, of course, I'm most excited for Mantena because Mantena is my favorite Master Universe character and figure. Um, I will be ordering two for myself. Um, so, uh, just like I did Hordak, all the main characters I definitely will plan on ordering two of each so I can display them both out and in the package. <clears throat> and I'll probably have another one for trade or sale. Uh, so, yeah, I just think these are really cool. Um, I love the fact that he can freaking do wield guns. <laughs> I absolutely love this. <laughs> I love this. This is so cool. You know, I didn't turn this around. I wonder how it looks. Um, if you hold it this way. Looks kind of cool. I almost had a cat fight behind me. Uh, looks kind of cool. I dig it. Pile would look better, though. Holding it like this. All right? Pretty cool. Um, or if we're really going to get... Um, all Android-ish. There we go. Oh, no! Wow, did he just drop the weapon? Right out of his hand? That was odd. Okay. But yeah. Rawr. Destroy. 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 Wait, wait. <clears throat> Exterminate. 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 <laughs> so pretty darn cool. Uh, yeah, this is kind of loose in his hand, actually. Hmm. Well, that's because I've been putting all the other weapons in his hand. <laughs> Um, problem with some of these weapons are once they're in their his hand, they're so damn tight. Mm. They don't want to come out. Some of them. It's even loose in his hand, but not as loose. So I would say those are far probably for his robot. Um, I don't know if his monster, I would figure his monster would come with like a club or something. Uh, I wonder if maybe that's what this gun is for, this weird gun. 
I really need to research these weapons because I'm curious what uh, cartoon they appear in. Especially this. How about you both get down? Ah, my cats are trying to kill each other. Um, but yeah, I like to know where this came from. It looks really dangerous. Ooh, there's a little nice to little note. There is kind of a point on these. Usually they're rounded off. Ah, there's a point on those. So, if any of you know where these weapons uh, are from, uh, as far as episode-wise, put them in the comments below and let me know. Uh, I'd love to. I'd love to find out, honestly. Um, I think these are really cool weapons. Uh, I love the fact he comes with so many. He comes. He comes with one, two, three, four, five weapons. Five weapons, three heads uh, that you spin with your finger. Uh, but yeah, I'm. Of course, gushing over this guy because the other two were just such a disappointment. Look at this. His legs are kind of crossed, and he stands perfect. I'm going to move the table. He's not falling. She already fell. Table didn't even move. So, all right, guys. Well, there is my review of the Club Grayskull. Master Universe figures by Super 7. Um, these guys were pre-order only. These guys were pre-ordered. And um, sh uh, if you pre-ordered them, they're shipping to you right now. You should be receiving them about the time I have. And um, so, yeah. There she goes. Uh, if you didn't get them from Super 7... Uh, you're probably SOL. You're going to have to go on eBay and pay those ridiculous um, scalper prices. Uh, and let's, why don't we go over and take a look at what these guys are going for, shall we? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and do uh, Sorceress. Sorceress of the Universe Filmation. Uh, she's going for about $65, $70. So $65 or $70 is what she's currently going for. Um, man, E faces. Not wanting to show up because I probably didn't spell it correctly. Man, E Faces. There we go. Um, huh. Okay, there we go. Uh, he's, wow. Yeah, he's going anywhere from, um, Jesus. He's going for quite a bit already. Um, if you want a Manny Faces and you go on eBay, you're looking at uh, anywhere from, uh, looks like, um, 60 to 80 dollars. Uh, I've seen 75, so he's gonna be a pricey one, folks. It's gonna be a pricey one. Uh, uh I again, I have, I'm sorry I did not do merman. Um, merman, however, he's going for about 65 dollars. <laughs> Why not? We'll do Tom Flash or uh, where's my box here? I'm Tom Flash or um, 50 to 60 bucks, 65, 70. So interesting. So there you go. 
Folks, I thank you very much for tuning in. This has been The Logic Presents. And I have been your host, The Logical One, John Wise. So thank you for tuning in. And until next time, be logical to each other. Sounded good. It sounded good, right? <laughs>